Everybody, yeah, yeah, rock your body, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't know why, why I started singing that song, but I don't know, just come into my head. Anyways, time to get serious. Hello, everybody. This is your man with a plan, Endorphin Rush 23 here, and as you can see, my beast mode has just been engaged. Uh, I just flipped the switch. I forgot to turn it on earlier. And, you know, you don't want to run around with beast mode engaged too long because, well, it's hard to explain. There's some science behind it, some chemistry, some biology. You know, it's just, it would probably take a couple hours to explain it, but let's just say it wouldn't be good. And uh, this little Modern Warfare 2 action on Carnival. This doesn't really, uh, this carnival here doesn't really look like, you know, something I would enjoy as a kid. But, uh, you know, maybe it's just in need of some repairs and something. But, anyways, guys, this is part one of, uh, and sorry about the lag right here. Sometimes when I'm trying to capture a video, my capture card kind of lags, and I got a really pretty crummy computer. I mean, it's been real good to me, but I don't think it's made for this kind of stuff, so it's really lagging quite a bit sometimes, but it syncs back together all as well. But yeah, this is part one of uh, my series. I'm going to call it The Quest for the Nuke Emblem. And let me tell you about the series right after this. I get my Harrier here. And I got then my next kill streak's the AC-130. So I get my Harrier and I'm like, okay, I'm going to call this baby in. I wasn't expecting much from Carnival, but it got me my AC-130, which was cool. I was like, okay, this probably won't be too good of an AC-130 because it's Carnival. There's a lot of places to hide and stuff underneath. And we had other air support up. I was like, ah, I probably won't be able to get a nuke here, but it's like I'm still looking for their spawn. It's like, where are they spawning at? Wait, what's this? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, a four and one? Did I get a two and one? I found their spawn, yep. And once you find it, you just keep bombarding it with those missiles. And there it is, guys. Ding, ding. The tactical nuke. Boy, you feel like, excuse my French, such a badass when you get one of those things. Because you could totally end the game at your own leisure. Like, I could have ended it right there, but I was like, uh, I'm going to go around and see, see how much havoc I could wreck all these guys. Then I pick up a double. I was lining up the second collateral, but uh, the guy got me in the corner. But yeah, the series, as I just clap my hands together, uh, the series is going to be called The Quest for the Nuke Emblem. See, in Modern Warfare 2, you kind of got your emblems by different challenges and stuff and uh, one of the emblems is a spinning nuclear emblem that happens when you get 10 nukes and call them in I got it on my previous account I had a different account that I've played on but uh, yeah I got it on that account but uh, this is I haven't gotten actually this is the very first nuke I've gotten on the endorphin rush 23 account so this will be part one of ten. I'm going to show you guys all ten games where I get my nuke. And I'm going to try to make them real exciting. I'm going to try and play my regular style where I just run around. But once I get my kill streaks up, I'll probably camp a little bit more heavily to get the nuke. But in here I was like, boy, I got my Harrier? I might get two nukes in this game. But it, it was, the time was running out and I die here, so... Yeah, I'm going to try and mix it up, too, with my guns and stuff, but... Yeah, guys, we'll wrap it up towards the end here. Uh, my question to you guys out there, my fellow listeners and Call of Duty players, uh, what... Uh, do you miss the nuke from Modern Warfare 2? Uh, do you miss... Sometimes I miss it, but other times... Especially when the enemy gets it from camping and doing the one-man army fiasco, I I don't miss it too much because 
it's kind of BS, but anyways, guys, uh, just let me know if you miss it or not, and, uh, it's been, it's been another fun commentary, I went 52 and 11, and got the radiation in the background, but, yeah, guys, uh, have a good day, and let me know what you think, and we will talk to you later, okay, bye.